What is good with y'all, man? So today we're going to be talking about Red Zone Threat. I said yesterday I was going to talk about this ability today. Uh, I'm going to give you a little bit of, a little bit of a breakdown of it, kind of the best way to use this thing. And then I'm going to show you basically just like clips of me, you know, using that. I got a bunch of clips of me just, you know, mossing people in the Red Zone with it. It's pretty simple. Uh, basically, the Red Zone, if you all know the Red Zone, the Red Zone starts at the 20-yard line. So as soon as you get in the 20-yard line, this ability is going to work. Now, make sure you want to put this on somebody for 1 AP. Red zone threat, 1 AP. You don't, don't do the 2 AP. I mean, if you if you got the extra 2 AP, you got nothing else to use. If somebody gets for 2 AP, go ahead. The thing is with this year, it's all about, you know, getting those discounts. So 1 AP is, you know, pretty preferable. I'm pretty sure the new Randy Moss that comes out today gets it for 1 AP. But yeah, basically, this ability, you're 80 to 85% chance you're getting a touchdown strictly just off this ability in the red zone. Really, all you want to do is get your receiver one on one. Like, let's okay, let's say for example, you come out and bunch, put him on a single side of the bunch, and just streak him, high ball it up, and you're either going to catch it or you're not. Try it a couple more times. It's it's really just as simple as that. Uh, and if for your if you're a guy that like struggles in the red zone, this is going to like it's going to help you out a lot. Like, I would highly recommend this. I took deep Adelaide off Carmichael and I put red zone threat on him, just because. I don't use deep deep uh, Adelaide enough to, I almost said deep threat elite. I don't use deep Adelaide enough. You know, I don't really just sit there and throw eggs downfield. That's not what I do. But I ain't gonna lie, once I get into this red zone, yeah, you better best believe I'm throwing eggs for this red zone threat because I'll be honest, like, they, if you see that, the animations you get for deep Adelaide, it's like red zone threat gives you even crazier animations. Like, it's, uh, it, it is really wild. I, I would highly recommend this. If you got a tall guy that can get this for one AP, like Harold Carmichael, for example, which is why he's not going to leave my team for a little bit because just because of this right here, this is, I'm almost guaranteed a touchdown. You see, I also got short in on him, but that's just that's just to help me get downfield. I don't know everybody who gets this for one AP. I know Carmichael does. I know the new Randy Moss does. Uh, you can go on Mudgy G and just check that out real quick. I'm going to go to the practice field and just show you like a really quick way to just kind of set this up and give your guy the best chance of catching the ball and then after that i'll show you just a, a bunch of clips of me just going crazy with it all right so we're in the practice field like i said i just kind of wanted to just show you what this ability is going to look like i got the raiders just because uh Devontae adams has red zone threats so basically we're at about the 10 like i said as long as you get to that 20 yard line this ability will light up and work that's where the ability kind of starts at i don't really use it you like you know do it back there i usually wait till i get a little bit closer i run the ball a little bit you know what i mean that's just kind of what i do it doesn't matter though basically it's simple like so Devontae adams all the way to the left you want to make sure when you're doing this your receiver is really don't do this if he's in the slot or the inside run this get him on the sideline get him to the outside the numbers it's going to be a lot easier to get him one-on-one -on -one and things like that that's pretty simple he's x so you just want to highball this thing over to x now obviously this is regs so he's not he kind of just torched the corner. That is not at all what was supposed to happen there. And Derek Carr, I'll be honest, he threw a pretty shitty ball. Uh, I want I want to throw this as a contested catch. That's kind of what I'm trying to do. But you know, Derek Carr, uh, the guy has he's got other plans, man. So if you just you can just be normal here for a second. There we go. You got a nice press, and there you go. Red zone threat. It gives crazy animations like that. Um, and obviously, you're going to have abilities on your quarterback. So, you know, Derek Carr is throwing terrible passes. That's just Derek Carr. Uh, it's it's damn near, it's damn near a guaranteed catch every time. Like I said, 80 to 85% of the time, your guys come down with this thing. And you can just keep running. I mean, Devontae Adams just keeps torching him off the line. I need him to relax just for a second. I'm trying to throw a contested pass, but Devontae Adams just keeps frying him. Can you please stop frying him, Devontae? Oh, Devontae just keeps frying him. You saw it on the one catch, though. And I'm about to show you some clips of me doing this in Ultimate Team with Harry Carmichael, him just mossing people. So, uh,. Let me know if you guys are, you know, running this now. How do you like it? You know, what are you doing to maybe make it better? Uh, does this help you out in the red zone? Just, you know, let me know down in the comments and uh, drop a like and uh, enjoy Carmichael Moss and people. For two men, play outside over top pass can be. Oh, there we go. Still worked. <laughs> All right. I'm finna go to work. I can't be stressed out about this fuck out of game. I'm going for him in the end zone. Let's go, man. Oh, yeah. Carmichael's fucking. Like, uh, Espresso was like. Let's go. You're not using Carmichael, you freak boy. Come on now. There we go. 